My name is Morten and this is my journey into photographing the stars and deep sky objects. Today I'm going to make a review and show you how to assemble and use the ZWO EAF automatic focuser. Let's check the box. We have a couple of Allen keys. We have some screws to attach it. We have a USB cable. We have the actual autofocus motor. We have the mounting bracket for the motor. And we have four adapters to be able to connect the autofocus motor to the actual focuser on your telescope. We only need to use one of these that will fit your tube. Looking at the actual autofocus motor, you see the USB connection on the back. It's uh, a USB-B type. It's a lovely aluminium design. You mount the bracket to the actual motor using two screws that is included in the box like this and adjust it to fit to your focus tube. In order to make the focus motor work with your focuser you use one of the uh, enclosed adapters Use the one that fit your focus rod or axle on your focuser. Now the first thing that you do is to remove the focus knob from your focuser on your scope. I've already done that on this. But as you can see here you have a small hole in which you insert an allen key. And you need to rotate the knob in order to gain access to the screw. And then you just place the correct adapter onto your axis shaft and tighten it. And make sure there's a gap between the adapter and the casing. The next thing you do is mount the bracket to your focus tube Remove two of the existing screws like in the image and replace them with the longer screws enclosed with your focus motor. Take the automatic focuser, place it inside the adapter from your focus tube shaft and make sure that the brackets is in the correct position. Tighten the screw to attach your focus motor to your focuser shaft. Make sure it's uh, nice and tight. Adjust the bracket and attach that to the automatic focuser and tighten the screws. Also tighten the screws that go inside your focuser, but make sure you don't over tighten it. And here you can see the final assembly of the automatic focuser attached to my Skywatcher EvoStar ATED, and everything worked fine. The first test was successful. Here you can see the automatic focuser is actually moving the focus tube in and out without any problems. So the first thing that you need to do when setting up your new autofocuser from ZWO is to go on to the ZWO website at astronomyimagingcamera.com 
uh, click on support manual and software and select the software and if you already have the wo products like i do i have the asi 120 mm mini installed then i actually don't need to install anything else but if you don't have it you can uh, install the asi cameras so after installing that and plugging in your eaf focuser you go on to astrophotography tool and you click on connect focuser mine is already connected right now and then you click on settings here you can check the advanced setting so what what you actually need to do now is to first uh, position the focus tube in the start position or the zero position and when you've done that you click on the set zero then you actually uh, move the focus tube all the way out uh, in order to do that a bit faster you can set the step size to 50 or 100 you can also uh, instruct the software to move to a certain target position like 20 uh, 20 000 or something like that and then click on move i have the skywatcher evostar ated pro and my uh, maximum focus uh, step size is 34800 so if you have a similar scope you will probably have uh, a similar step size like me so the next thing that you need to set is the backlash this is uh, exactly the same issue that you might have on your uh, regular uh, equatorial mount uh, and that is when you move uh, or change direction of your focus tube uh, let's say you're going out and then switch to in or you're going in and then switch to out you have a certain amount uh, of uh, spacing uh, a gap uh, so to speak uh, which is called the backlash so in order to to set that uh, i would suggest set the step size to uh, a smaller size uh, 10 for example uh, and then you move the focus tube in one direction direction and then you click to move the focus tube in the other direction and you count the number of clicks that you need to do before the focus tube actually moves so in my case uh, if i switched from out to in i need to click three times before the focus tube actually moves and that gives me a backlash of 30. so when you're finished here you just click on OK and you save the configuration. The next thing you might want to do in astrophotography tool for the automatic focuser is to set some positions that you normally or often use. I actually have position 100 as my starting position so i've saved that to the number one position you can do that by going to uh, the position and then you uh, click uh, shift click on number one you hold down shift on your keyboard and you left click on the one button that will save your current position to that uh, button and also if you have uh, a focus position like I'm uh, in focus right now at uh, 22767 you shift click number two to save that focus position to the number two button that way when you're going to start imaging 
you just click on the number two first to move to that focus position before running the autofocus routine. Right now I'm pointed to the Western Veil Nebula that I'm going to be imaging tonight. First of all, click on the camera tab and go down to image preview. Make sure you uh, don't have on fit but on one to one because that is necessary for the autofocus feature in astrophotography tool. Next you go to tools and you click on autofocus aid. You can select different methods. I usually want to use the half lux diameter and I also want to have the one pass algorithm. Uh, if you click on settings you can set the number of test points. I want to have nine. Uh, you can also set the focus or move step and the maximum move count. I've set that to 10 and 100 and also a one second pause after move. Uh, exposure time 5 seconds, ISO 1600. So before we can start the autofocus aid we need to start the focus aid and we need to position that over a star. When that's done you can take the autofocus window again and click on run. What will happen now is that astrophotography tool is going to take nine exposures and for each exposure it's going to adjust the focuser position and uh, then we will see what we get and uh, if we're lucky we're going to get some kind of curve and hopefully be in focus when this routine has finished. So it took uh, a couple of extra exposures. We're now at 12. And there we go. I'm gonna go back to camera and select the preview to on fit again. And we're finished. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button. And also if you want to see me do a video about any other content, leave a comment and uh, I will answer it as soon as I can. Until the next video, I wish you all some clear skies.